time for a look at a developing story with Caroline Wood, senior markets correspondent for the network. So we are looking at Google's AI software, Gemini, Caroline. Walk us through this story. Hey there, Jenny. Yes, Google shares or Alphabet shares under pressure today off their earlier lows, but still down about four tenths of a percent. It's kind of been a shaky start for tech stocks this December after a huge run higher. Google Alphabet, no exception. And that's despite announcing the launch of its largest and most capable AI model, Gemini. It says the large language model is more powerful than anything currently on the market. Of course, hinting that it's more powerful than OpenAI's ChatGPT which hit the scene first. Google executives said the Gemini Pro outperformed OpenAI's GPT 3.5, but it's unclear how it performed against ChatGPT 4. Uh, but, you know, I mentioned Gemini Pro. There are three different sizes. Gemini Ultra is the largest, most capable category, Gemini Pro, and then Gemini Nano, which it will use for mobile devices. Google will license Gemini to customers through Google Cloud for them to use in their own applications. It'll also be used in apps like the Bard uh, search chat box. And, uh, but you know, they did say that uh, it, it's able to process various media from audio to video, but the, the Gemini algorithm won't be widely available until early next year because they're still doing some safety testing, which we know is so key with, with AI. Maybe that's why we're not seeing much of a boost to shares today on this news. They also introduced their Tensor um, processing unit for training AI models. That's called TPU V5P. That chip offers better performance in, than, uh, for the price than the TPU V4, which was announced in 2021. But we don't know how it compares to a key competitor, of course, NVIDIA. Uh, so we have to kind of wait and see on that. But, uh, you know, you just take a look. Alphabet shares off about a half a percent today. Microsoft shares off a little bit more than that, off about eight tenths of a percent. And NVIDIA down almost one and a half percent today. So not really seeing much of a much of a rally in any of these names. So Alphabet is, uh, is you know, kind of in good company in terms of the red arrows. But if you take a look, Alphabet shares up almost 50 percent in 2023. And it, it just feels like this name has played catch up in the AI arms race all year long to open AI. And they're not the, the only name challenging, of course, that that company, as we do know, Elon Musk's AI startup has said, they're also going to try to challenge open AI. So everyone wants a piece of the AI enthusiasm. But as far as specifically Alphabet goes, what does the street feel about this news? Because like you said, clearly not much of a reaction today, but also the Magnificent Seven have just seen some disappointment this week. Yeah, it looks like Meta and Tesla are the only two of the Magnificent Seven higher today. Uh, so the street not necessarily, you know, all that enthused by this Gemini news. That being said, if you take a look at the analyst community, more than 80 percent of <coughs> analysts still have a buy rating on Alphabet shares, despite the fact that it is up pretty significantly. You know, it's not seeing NVIDIA size outsized gains, but it's still up very significantly in 2023. So 82% have a buy rating, not a single sell rating on the street at this point. Median price target of 152 implies about 15, 16% upside from current levels. So the, the Wall Street analyst community still sees upside potential for Google, not just because of AI, but I'm sure due in part due to its AI capabilities. And uh, yeah, we have to see. Open AI is the one to, to, is the one to beat at this point. And uh, Google says this is the, the, the best thing on the market right now. So let's see. I know, what a big claim to tag on to your software. I mean, I guess I respect it, but as far as Alphabet goes, we know that in terms of their search engine, it's, it's the best and the biggest in the business. So typically True. what they do, they do do well. We just have to wait and see because this is like a long-term story I'm sure we'll be watching. But appreciate the insight as always, Caroline Woods, Senior Markets Correspondent here for the network.